TX-225 Assault Tank completed. Let's take a closer look. I am so excited right now. TX-225 completed. Well, the tank's completed. I still got to finish the uh, Kyber Crystal Crates, uh, the static ones. Um, it should be pretty pretty quick to finish these. I just need to put some black on them. They're orange, got an orange accent, so I just got to figure out how I'm going to tape it up and just give it a coat of matte black. But I wanted to go ahead and put them on there just because... Um, what this thing's for right but i'm telling you right now this has this has been a fun journey um 12 scale tx225 uh assault tank hover tank um wow this has uh i mean it's it's a it's an amazing build uh, I did make mistakes on it. Uh, I did have some uh, issues, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I didn't put a whole lot of finish and uh, like, you know, filler primer and all that stuff on it because I wanted this thing to actually be like it is. And and to be honest with you, you really didn't have to. I mean, I can see little, you know, scar lines and this and that. I can nitpick it, but honestly, I, I don't care. But, uh, Let's take these off for now. I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, I will put it on the, uh, I'll probably put it on the spinny spinny, get it going, but I wanted just to let you take a look at it static right now because I wanted to go over a few things. Um, first and foremost, um, with the Kyber Crystal Crates, take those off. You have four uh, removable panels right here. But you can take these off, which actually gives you a cargo bed with an actual floor in it that you can actually put troops in. Look at you there. So very vers very versatile. So you can actually uh, you can you can actually set it up a couple of different ways. You can put uh, a couple of these in here to hold one crate then you know have some troops right here protecting it so tons of tons of options um, more than likely I will probably uh, statically store this thing like this in this configuration uh, once I get these crates uh, completed uh, we do have movable uh, guns on the on the front here, you got static guns in the front. Got a, I love the, the, the machine gun, machine blaster, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you have functional hatches, which is very, very cool. Um, I will show you the insides, uh, the details uh, here shortly. But uh, this thing is just, just amazing. So, tell you what, let me get the spinny spinny out. I'll get it spinning that way you can just sort of see the whole thing uh, as it rotates around and uh, yeah I'll be right back this is the biggest thing I've ever put on the spinny spinny uh, but uh, yeah here you go 360 just let it uh, sort of soak in a little bit um, I am so pleased with this it was a fun build it was a fun uh, paint it was a fun weathering um, all the little details like all these little uh, features here these are all separate pieces all the pieces that are on the side here are separate all the ones on the front tons of greeblies went into this uh, I did mix this between uh, FDM and resin the cannons are resin the front cannons are resin uh, this cupola and door is resin this door is resin and the interior some of the seats and panels are resin everything else is uh, FDM um, it is 20% infill so it has weight to it it is very very sturdy the thing I think that just I love about this thing so much is the hover tank pilots 
and, and drivers, whatever. They really never had anything, you know, from an action figure point of view. Uh, even if you were thinking about like army building or, or anything like that, um, there wasn't really a whole lot you could do with them, you know. Uh, but this actually gives the troops some character now as I uh, pose one up. I'm going to put him on the back right there. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's something you can actually display and actually really, really have something cool for the hover tank uh, troopers. So I dig this thing so, so much. Um, no complaints. Um, I mean, it's one of those builds that you, you got to dedicate time. Uh, you definitely have to de de dedicate time to it. Um, but it's relatively simple to assemble. Uh, I didn't run any, any real hiccups. I did have to do some, uh, some slicing and stuff, uh, especially in this section here. Um, uh, but I mean, other than that, I printed the chassis, uh, uh, I think it was two pieces, but there's connecting pins. Yeah. I mean, it was just, it's a, it's, it's, it's just big. I mean, this thing, uh, I mean, this is a 36 inch, uh, mat that it's on. And I think it's going to be a solid, uh, close to that from the, the tip, but we're probably 30 inches, give or take. So, uh, yeah. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, when this comes back around, I want to sort of leave it up, uh, for you guys. Let me go ahead and turn this off um, so it is um, uh, the, the top cover and the front panel actually come off uh, this is a very very cool feature uh, it's held in place with magnets and there's holes on the ends right here so you can put some metal uh, wire in to, uh, to hold your your top cover the or excuse me, the front panel, the top cover is just magnets, uh, but it comes off. So let me, uh, let me do this. I think this this part of it is the part that I just I just love this. I mean, here's your cockpit, um, and again, I'm going to show you close-ups of it, but I wanted just to let you see it in this uh, right here. So you got the, the two drivers, and you got the commander uh, right there. Got three seats. Uh, this one actually is really cool because uh, he actually, when he sits down, I guess this guy would take over driving because this seat's so much higher. I, I don't know. It's weird, but he can drive standing up. But, uh, yeah, so, so cool. So I tell you what, let me get the camera flipped around and I will show you some of the uh, the panels and stuff uh, that, that's part of this and the consoles and everything else. All right, here's your uh, the inside of the, uh, the cockpit and the chassis area. Do you have a control panel there? Uh, got a control panel there, got the back wall. What's funny is, is that little table right back in there is called the coffee table. Um, there's your console right there but uh very very cool love the way this thing is just put together that's just come on how can you not like it you know what i'm saying this thing is so cool i mean i took liberties when it came to the paint i just sort of you know just started picking colors i didn't do any kind of weathering on the inside of it did some brown for the seats. Um, the actual steering column right here is actually FDM. Uh, just fits right in, no problem there. But uh, yeah, guys, I think this thing turned out great. All right, there you go, guys. Um, TX225, man. I am super, super stoked to have this in my collection, uh, to be able to, uh, first of all, guys, big say, uh, big thank you to Nathan uh, for, for 
all the stuff he does uh, with Discord and everything. I'll put links and everything to that in the description of the video. But super supportive. Uh, everybody's just sharing their ideals. They're sharing their progress. Uh, it's the same with the ATST. Um, it is sitting right over here in the down position. Uh, I still got to put the guns on it and the hatch. But I do have the two halves married. When it's done, I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, this took sort of over uh, because, number one, it's a land-based you know, tank vehicle. Uh, we didn't get to see much of this in Rogue One. Um, I actually did buy uh, a Rogue One or a Rogue One, a Rogue One book so I could see pictures of it. Um, this was a pretty cool vehicle that I don't know. It'd been nice to uh, to see more of and, and this and that in the movie. But uh, hey, it is what it is. But I think it's pretty awesome. Um, also, I stand corrected. Uh, this is your gunner right here, and this is the driver. The crazy part about this driver, and you can actually like lift the seat up, so there's like a little thing, a little uh, adjuster right there. Uh, but yeah, this is the gunner right here. But uh, and of course your commander. But guys, I, I tell you, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you could ask for anything better. Um, for, for this particular um, action figure. I mean, it's, it's, it's finally, we got something as I try to get this put back together. <laughs> Those magnets are tough. Um, yeah, this, this piece comes off as well too because this piece actually rotates. So you can actually have the commander getting all crazy with the uh, the blaster. So, uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, will I make another one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, will I make a sixth scale one? Uh, probably not. Um, because, to be honest with you, um, you need a minimum of three figures for this to be proper, okay? I don't even have one hover tank uh, six scale figure, let alone will I buy three. Um, so I, I'm not gonna do a six scale of this because it would just be massive. Uh, I mean, as we look at this one, okay, so this one is, 28 inches, 28 inches uh, long. So you figure a six scale one, uh, 56. I mean, that's that's huge. And and you know this thing width wise, um, it's coming in probably right at 13, 14 inches, something like that. So uh, yeah, that would be massive. So I am perfectly happy with 12 scale. Um, I think this is a beautiful piece. Um, I had struggles when I, when, I, when I was painting it because when you look at the actual uh, book, which I thought I had it with me, but I got it somewhere else. I think I took it upstairs. Um, one of them is sort of a gray looking, light gray looking. And another one is almost a tannish looking in the pictures. This one actually was a little lighter um, beforehand, but when I weathered it, it darkened it up. So it is what it is. I'm still happy with it. I could probably come back over and do some touch-ups on it, but I'll be honest with you. I think it's perfect the way it is. I just got to get the Kyber crates, uh, get them painted up, and then that will that will complete it. This has been a fun journey. Um, if you guys follow me on social media, you've seen pictures of this as I've been going through. If you haven't been following me on social media, if you click on the more in the description of the videos, you'll see links to all of my uh, social media links on the old interwebs. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, if you want to see more of this, uh, you definitely got to hit that subscribe button because... That way you'll know because when you subscribe, you're going to turn notifications on. And that way you go, bing, Greg's uploaded a video. 
if you enjoyed this video, give me a like on it. I definitely uh, appreciate that. Definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, I don't think I could be any happier to buy a file and to print something out, assemble it, paint it, everything. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, Kim actually came down and today was the first time she'd seen it uh, done. And she was like, wow. <laughs> so it, it just makes me feel good to, to, to do this, to accomplish something like this. This is huge. Um, yeah. So you let me know what you think about it. Um, I just don't think I could be any more pleased with it. So, but that's it for the, that's it for this video, guys. Again, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what you think about the TX225. And please always remember, toys that you build refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.